Hello Taurus, welcome to your general reading for the week. Let's go ahead and jump right in, all right? <clears throat> I'm gonna try to keep my reading short because they have been terribly long. Let's see. But you know, whatever messages come through and how long it takes is, it's all dependent on the divine, right? I'm gonna pull a spirit animal oracle card to get your current energies. Keep in mind that this is general. So it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, energies are interchangeable, okay? Take what resonates, keep an open mind. Let's see. Frog spirit says clear out the clutter. You're going through a decluttering here. And with Virgo season, I feel like that's, that's the essential theme right now, right? Figuring out your routine, figuring out what's best for you, right? But I also get a feeling of like diving in. That's what I just heard. Taking a dive in the cool waters. All right, what energies? I'm gonna put some energy oracles here. I wanna try to keep my readings under 15 minutes, but Let's see. Oops. Yeah, look at that. Blossoming abundance comes up. And you know, it's like I said, you're diving into something here and you see how there's a little lake, there's a little pond. There's a certain feeling of um, diving into your abundance. First chakra, Archangel Michael. That card talks about the root chakra, right? Um, which revolves around our sexual organs, our feet, legs. Some of you might really like the color red. Could this be a love reading for Taurus? Yin and yang. Balance. Finding balance. Let's see what this is all about. So for your main spread, I'm gonna use this new deck that I got. It's the Golden Art Nouveau deck. Bottom of the deck, what is that? Judgment in reverse. So that card is like the spiritual awakening card. It's like, you know, what you reap, you will sow. And I feel like there's a certain level of awakening that is happening, but it has like, you haven't fully awakened. You know what I'm, you know what I mean? To something. Let's see, what do we got for Taurus, Universe, Spirits, and Guides? Page of Cups in Reverse. That could be talking about an apology. Um, wanting to reach out to someone. Ten of Swords. Ready for a new beginning. Ready to start over. The Hermit or Five of Cups wanted to come up in reverse. So you were disappointed in the past here. You were let down in the past. Some of you, you could be connecting with somebody. Yep, right when I say that the lovers come up in reverse. I feel that there was probably a connection in the past here that let you down. 
and, and I feel like it's almost, I feel like it's like resurfacing or it's coming back around or maybe you're wanting it to come back around. Let's see. The tower in reverse. There's been a realization that hasn't happened yet. Show me about the collective, of course. Page of Wands. So this talks about taking inspired action, a message coming in, and it's right underneath the page of cups in reverse. So there definitely could be some some kind of message coming in. Could be an apology coming in. Or maybe you're waiting for, for an apology to come in. I don't know. I keep hearing apology. King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a water sign here. This talks about, you know, someone who is very loving, compassionate, kind, patient. Someone who is content, right? Someone who... Um, doesn't really show their emotions on the outside, right? But they're, they're very much in control of their emotions. And look, you got the Ace of Swords in reverse. So there's someone's not vocalizing their truth here. Someone's not expressing their truth. There's no, there's a lack of clarity. And it's right underneath the Lover's card. So this connection, whatever it is, is... There's not a lot of clarity involved here. Let's see what else, Spirit. So you could be dealing with a connection that you feel heavily uh, drawn to and attracted to. Wow. Judgment. Remember how it popped up or it was on the bottom of the deck earlier? Now it's right side up. And it's right underneath the tower here that, that is in reverse. I feel a strong connection here that, that you f may feel bring balance into your life. And there's a, a, there's a heavy attraction with this card. Um, and with Blossoming Abundance, oh, I just got a, I just got something. And I don't know if you're going to like what I have to say, Taurus. Clearing out the clutter. There's a connection here that you feel strongly about here. That you feel heavily attracted to, brings balance, brings abundance. But it hasn't, I feel like it let you down in the past. And I, it almost feels like you're waiting for a message to come around. It's like you're waiting for this person to come around with a message of apology or something like that, right? But there's a certain realization here that needs to happen between it, maybe just with you or with this other person that's going to bring awakening. I feel like maybe you haven't realized that or maybe you have to realize that you have to let go of this connection. I don't know, let's see. Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Cups. This is your counterpart in reverse, or this is probably you. Take it as it resonates, but this is somebody who has a lot of love to give, right? But when it's in reverse like that, it's like your heart is closed off. I feel like you have to come into terms with the with this connection because it almost feels like this person that you're dealing with, Taurus, may not come around. And 
with the clearing out the clutter, maybe you feel like you, you do have to release this connection because I don't think it's, I don't think it's doing you that, I don't know, I don't, with this 10 of swords here, it's like you're done, right? It's like you're ready to start over. Maybe for some of you, this person could be coming around with an apology, I don't know. Let's see, I'm gonna pull an outcome here. Um, I'm being led to use this uh, Mystic Mondays tarot deck, and then we'll close out the reading, okay? Whatever this connection is, I feel like um, there needs to be some kind of closure with this connection, and maybe it's closure within yourself. Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, yeah. This person is taking a long time to come around and maybe and I feel like you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting around for a sign. You're tired of waiting around for a message from this person. But you but there's a strong connection. There's a strong connection to this person. There's a strong attraction. There's just not a lot of clarity around this around this person. And I feel like maybe you're ready to move on, Taurus. Maybe you're ready to um, declutter. Let's see. Spirit, what is the most likely outcome here for Taurus? Moving forward, what is the most likely outcome here for Taurus? But I do feel like you, there is a lot of love for this person. Look, the moon in reverse. Yeah. Just as I thought. They're going to keep holding on to their feelings. They're going to keep holding on to their feelings, Taurus. I know that's not what you want to hear, but... <clears throat> Okay, and then the Ace of Pentacles, but there is an opportunity at hand for you. Nine of Swords, that's going to make you feel trapped. I don't know, let's see. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Because it's not working. Five of Pentacles, feeling alone. Holy shit. And then the Ten of Pentacles, wow. Interesting, that's the abundance right there. What's on the bottom of the deck? Princess of Swords. So you could be spying on this person, you could be keeping tabs of this person. And what I'm kind of picking up here is, this person's going to continue to hide their feelings hide what, how they truly feel, right? Or hide, they're just gonna hold on to their emotions, right? Um, but Spirit is saying there is an opportunity here for you to take what you know about this situation and move forward from it, one way or another, to find your own abundance, right? On your own. Because what's gonna happen is, you're gonna fight yourself. You're gonna, you're gonna be challenged. And what I'm saying is, this connection is gonna like keep you up at night. This connection, there's a certain fear of letting go of this connection. And then with the three of pentacles in reverse, it's like, this ain't, this is not gonna work. And then the five of pentacles is like, you're gonna be left out in the cold. But the thing is, whatever this opportunity is, and I feel like this is an opportunity within yourself, Taurus, it's like you have to take this opportunity. There's something here that is going to lead you to your abundance, the real abundance that you seek. I don't know. 
Take it as it resonates. Do you want me to clarify this Ace of Pentacles? Let me clarify this Ace of Pentacles spirit. All right, spirit, what is this Ace of Pentacles here? What is this opportunity at hand? What is this opportunity? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Okay. Queen of Swords popped out with the Four of Cups. It's like saying that you got to be smart, use your discernment, and don't sit on this opportunity. It's something that you've been manifesting here. But also, for some of you, this could be an opportunity for you to work, do your shadow work, do your healing, and release some burdens, right? Anything else, Spirit? Before we close out this reading, I gotta go. Let's see. What else, Spirit? Uh-huh. Look at that. So five of swords came up in reverse along with the princess of wands. And what that is telling me is at some point you have to admit defeat, right? That's kind of what I'm getting. And then with the princess of wands here, it's like there is a certain side to you that is creative and fun and in inspiring and just uh, willing to take action and... Um, Yeah, it's like it's like with this card it's like you are following your dreams with this card you're following your passions right <clears throat> at some point you have to admit defeat and and follow your heart follow your passions and that's what's going to help you gain control of your life with the emperor here because right now i feel like there's a certain attachment there's a certain codependency on this connection whatever this connection is but spirit is kind of saying like we got to let that go. We got to work on ourselves, Taurus. Right? Now's the time. We can't be we can't be dwelling on this connection no matter how sexy they are. <laughs> we got to work on ourselves, Taurus. We got to find the inner growth, okay? I'm going to pull a mystical shaman oracle deck to close out this reading. This is going to be your advice from spirit. All right, Spirit, what do we got for Taurus? Wow. The staff. I've never had, I've never got this card before, so I'm gonna have to read it. But isn't it crazy how there's a lot of wand energy? It's like, Spirit is telling you, take that staff and lead with it, okay? Take that staff and lead with it. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Follow your inspiration, follow your passions. Let go of this connection. All right. <clears throat> Here is the essence of the card. The staff is a symbol of authority. It holds the power to temper extremes. The staff helps you find the right course of action, the way of the middle, and aids you to maintain your balance after you begin walking in that direction. Moses carried a serpent staff through the desert, and with it, he could summon the power of nature to heal, heal or call plagues. The staff reminds you of the imper impermanence of all things and that your authority must come from your deep longing to serve. You see that? So it's like it's all about finding your, your, your true purpose in life and letting go of this connection because this connection isn't who you are. Okay, Taurus? This connection may be something that is drawing you towards your purpose, okay? Here's the invitation. You know how to flow easily between polarities, how to weigh all possibilities and instinctively select the right path. Trust your inner wisdom and take the first step on a journey that your heart has already embarked on. Use the power of the staff to unite what appears to be divided to find that delicate balance between will and surrender mm. here's the medicine you are caught in a, the delicate balance between opposing forces between masculine and feminine between action and non-action use this to your advantage as there can be no day without night no low without high no wrong without right 
This is the time to take corrective action, beginning with your beliefs about what needs to be fixed or repaired. Let destiny take its course, nudging it slightly along. You see that? I don't think you need to hear any more from me, Taurus. You're probably sick of hearing me right now. <laughs> but anyways, I do believe that you have the power to overcome this. You have the power to take control of your life, to, to do what matters to you, okay? And it's like, I just get this feeling of like, oh, but this person though, I, like I'm just so in love with this person, blah, blah, blah. But, but for me, it's like, yes, you have all these strong feelings for this person and it's probably not being reciprocated. And that's a good sign for you to be like, you know what? I gotta focus on me. I gotta do me, boo-boo, okay? Because I can't be dwelling on this what if. All right, Taurus, I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if this reading resonated with you, go ahead and click the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, my email is in the description box below, okay? So until next time, Taurus, I will see you later. Bye.